All right, most disgusting promotional tactic of the year. Um, I think I went into great detail on the year in review about this. It was one of the worst things in 2017, and we had just talked about it, so I'll just make it quick. Uh, Randy Orton Arson. Randy Orton Arson, okay. For somebody watching the show who has lost a, or who may have lost a house or property due to somebody setting fire to it, uh, very unwatchable TV and enough to make you not want to watch wrestling anymore. Not good. But he's, he's a baby face. <laughs> Not in that program he wasn't. <laughs> Arson's cool. Let's cheer arsonists. <laughs> the words and, and views expressed by Morehouse do not necessarily uh, reflect on Nitromaniac TV and its partners and or subsidiaries. Uh, <laughs> I guess it can't run for prime minister anytime soon. Uh, so, but no, it, bad. Bad, 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 bad. Very bad. Worse than but is it, wor- is it worse than... Hostaging a world title to promote a Canadian wrestler to tour India. <laughs> so you're referring to Jinder Mahal and the title Yes. Ring. Yes. Um, I did start to get over on him like five months in, <laughs> finally a little bit, but every match he had was a schmoz finish um, on his pay per views. Yeah. And he didn't put out like maybe two star matches at the best <laughs> they uh, it, it depended on, it depended majorly who he was in the ring with because orton works that you know real sports entertainment style that you know is slow and methodical and you know yeah he, for all the new age stuff that orton does in the ring he really is a 1980s throwback wrestler with just the pacing and the, and his move set you know, and that kind of, you know, was kind of what you were getting. There was 1980 style main events. Now mm-hmm. he elevated his game big time with AJ Styles because that's what the great ones do. Uh, yeah. Styles can make anybody look good in the ring. We've seen that here locally. So um, it's. Just, but then he had matches with Nakamura where their styles don't click at all. Yeah. This, the SummerSlam match was a train wreck. Yeah, yeah. I'll, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and say it. That was probably um, a, too much of a clash of styles there. So, and yeah. he was kind of taken from the jobber pool and put a world title on. Uh, see, I've 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 kind of overlooked that a little bit just due to the fact that, you know, it. I could see what WWE wanted to do with that, and it's business. They they gonna do what they gonna do with business. So, but um, man, the way it was executed and the end result too the the the, the one house show getting can- canceled and then the shows they did run over there were kind of you know spotty at best for crowds. Uh, you know, it was a gamble that you knew it was going to be a gamble, and you know it 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 didn't pay off, but. They can, they they can do that on a blue brand and try that because if Jinder was on Raw and that was a Universal title, oh man, there would be they'd still be looking at the uh, the the autopsy reports today on it on why it failed, but it being on SmackDown, they can just kind of brush it under the rug and carry on. Not saying SmackDown's a bad show by any stretch of the imagination. It is the more watchable of the two shows. It just is what it is. You're, yeah. you're calling it the B show again. Uh, I hate that term. <laughs>